today I'm excited to talk with you about how high performance computing is at the center of data transformation and the convergence of AI. Today, the criticality of time to insight is especially relevant to each of our lives. As we are currently living in this COVID world, the days that pass without a proven vaccine are having life or death impact every minute, every day. The need to find cleaner energy sources to save the planet becomes more apparent every day. Our ability to accurately predict weather patterns for real-time events like hurricanes and forest fires has been relevant every day. These examples and so many more generate a mass amount of data and will take an enormous amount of compute to turn that data into insights and predictions and then into actions to save lives. High performance computing sits at the center of it all, processing the mathematical calculations, modeling and simulations to solve these complex problems. We are also seeing growth in AI workflows and a convergence of HPC and AI, where HPC systems are processing more data and AI is helping us make sense of the data quicker. As the scale systems being designed today will enable future innovations and discoveries across a wide range of fields and even beyond exascale neuromorphic and quantum computing systems will further push these boundaries of what is possible. But right now, today, our customers are using the latest Intel products, Xeon processors, and AI technologies to advance science and research and bring faster time to insight. The convergence of HPC and AI is happening now. It is taking many different forms and helping scientists uncover new, more meaningful insights faster than ever. For instance, we are seeing that AI is being integrated into HP workflows to accelerate things like pattern detection. And in some cases, AI models are replacing physics-based models altogether. And AI models complement more traditional HPC solutions to reveal insights faster and more comprehensively than data processing and analytics-based applications can be by themselves. We are seeing this convergence happening across a broad range of industries with one primary goal of AI accelerating insights that have been traditionally done fully by HPC. Workload diversity is not just an HPC phenomenon or an AI phenomenon. We see it across all workloads. Traditional modeling and simulation workloads have predominantly involved optimizations for scalar and vector math computations. AI, on the other hand, is not a single monolithic workload and is still evolving, requiring a broader architectural capability, incorporating optimizations for matrix and spatial math. In addition, the expansion of HPC from the edge through client to data centers and cloud infrastructure will require enabling a multifaceted approach. A one-size-fits-all solution will not provide the right power compute or latency options required to build optimized solutions customers demand. Intel's XPU strategy brings a diverse mix of scalar, vector, spatial, and matrix architectures deployed in a range of silicon platforms such as the CPU, GPU, FPGA, and specialized accelerators and supported by an open, industry standard, unified programming model to simplify application development and portability. Intel offers the most flexible and performance-optimized portfolio of products from multi-purpose CPUs to AI-optimized discrete ASICs. Customers can tackle HPC and AI workloads with Intel Xeon scalable processors, Xeon Core CPUs, and Intel FPGAs, down to low-power Intel Movidius VPUs today. As the proven foundation for HPC, Intel Xeon processors will continue to be the workhorse for the most demanding and AI-infused workloads. But as the demand for compute continues to grow, and as workloads grow more diverse, there is a need to complement the CPU platform with XPU acceleration to meet every customer's computing requirements. Intel is committed to taking a software-first approach that delivers a unified and scalable abstraction for heterogeneous architectures. 
And finally, storing and moving complex large data sets across compute domains with low latency brings system complexities that require next generation memory and interconnect technologies that Intel has been innovating and investing in as well. The convergence of HPC and AI is a critical inflection point for the HPC industry, and no company is better positioned to enable our customers to leverage this paradigm. The Intel Xeon Scalable Processor is the only data center CPU optimized for the convergence of HPC and AI with AVX512 vector SIMD extensions to accelerate HPC applications, the Intel DL Boost technology to accelerate AI applications with VNNI instructions more specifically accelerating inference applications in the Cascade Lake processors we are shipping today. Intel Optane Persistent Memory is supported on the Cascade Lake processors to accelerate data analytics in AI applications, while driving key functions like accelerated checkpointing and boot up in HPC systems. Now, let's take a closer look at IceLake. The third generation Xeon Scalable Processor for HPC will deliver advanced performance for a range of workloads. We're increasing memory bandwidth from six to eight channels, Great news for users in areas like computational fluid dynamics, where many applications use every bit of that bandwidth to feed their jobs. With the new Sunny Cove core architecture, users will see up to an 18% higher instruction per clock versus previous generations. And that increase pays dividends, for example, with applications like NAMD and many others that take advantage of our AVX512 support. IceLake is our first Xeon scalable processor with PCI Gen 4 for faster I.O. as well as support for Intel SGX. So what does all this mean for HPC users? While we won't be disclosing full IceLake specs and performance results until launch, I can tell you today that we're seeing competitive advantage with IceLake on key life science and financial service applications, including LAMPs and NAMD molecular dynamic workloads and Monte Carlo simulations. As you can see, we're achieving leadership performance with just half the cores. I can't wait to bring this product to market. With the groundbreaking new capabilities I just described, it's no wonder we're seeing customers so excited about IceLake. We're very happy to announce that KMA will be adopting IceLake for its supercomputer number five. This system will deliver theoretical performance of 50 petaflops, eight times faster than KMA's current supercomputer. This level of performance is essential for the range of first-rate services KMA delivers, including weather prediction, climate change assessment, earthquake, and marine studies. We're also thrilled that the Max Planck Computing and Data Facility has chosen IceLake for their new Raven system. And Oracle will deploy their Oracle Cloud infrastructure, leveraging the computing performance of IceLake, and is expecting a 30% performance increase on certain workloads such as CFD, EDA, and Crash. These are amazing results, and we can't wait to hear about how IceLake will meet your broad spectrum of workloads and performance needs. Our XE architecture is the foundation that helps us build GPUs that are scalable from teraflops to petaflops. The XE architecture represents Intel's transition from an architecture designed solely for the needs of a power and area constrained integrated graphics to fully scalable graphics architecture that will scale exponentially to serve many markets, spanning from integrated graphics and entry-level discrete to high-end gaming and data center graphics. XELP is focused on the thin and light mobile market with great performance per watt. XEHPG is a gaming and cloud graphics optimized GPU. XEHP combines high performance AI type computing with media computing. And XEHPC, the architecture behind the GPO codenamed Ponte Vecchio, is designed to deliver breakthrough AI and HPC performance on our exascale computing platforms. Intel has invested in integrated graphics for more than a decade, and we are currently used by over a billion users to power a wide range of client applications. To talk about how we simplify development across multiple types of processors and accelerators, I'd like to welcome my friend, 
VP and GM of Data Center XPU Products and Solutions at Intel, Jeff McVeigh. It is so great to be here to talk about the important value of software to delivering those insights. As we know, the software stack is built on a number of layers, from applications and workloads where data scientists and other uh, developers typically operate. They utilize middleware and frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, high-level languages like Python at scale and Julia at scale, and, and lower-level languages like Fortran and C++. And the layers of the abstraction of the software stack allow for reuse and bringing those capabilities more quickly to market. And really where one API plays is at this lower level of the stack that fits underneath middleware and frameworks so that we can take code that is already running on CPUs and quickly bring those to other architectures with very minimal, if any, code changes for people that live and operate in higher levels of the stack. This allows for really freedom of choice from the technical and financial barriers that proprietary solutions supporting accelerated computing do today. We do this by exposing the latest cutting edge features of that hardware technology, expose that through the stack, but also while building upon the existing HPC programming models of OpenMP, Fortran, and MPI. And a critical aspect of this is that it's an industry standards it's also based on open specifications so that any vendor can implement the same capabilities and provide those to the developers on top of it. And we're really excited also about the engagement by the ecosystem to utilize what we're providing, giving us feedback and helping us to enhance that, and then also taking that and extending it even further than we ever thought. Codeplay, for example, bringing the support of one API to NVIDIA GPUs. University of Heidelberg signing up to be a center of excellence to bring the same support to AMD GPUs and really showing that this is a full-on industry-wide uh, opportunity. All of these build upon the heritage of our HPC tools, Parallel Studio XE, our high-performance compilers, libraries, analysis tools, and expanding those capabilities across that XPU spectrum. All this is available for free and can run either locally or within our developer cloud or dev cloud. And our dev cloud is really um, important today as we're doing everything from home, as we know. It's really important to be able to access new hardware, to do that without a lot of installation hassles, to do that without configuration. And um, this developer sandbox has support for our Xeon CPUs, our FPGAs, Recently, we've had limited access to some of our discrete GPUs and are now broadening that up where all of our Iris XE Max discrete GPUs are available for all developers. And then also bringing out our XE HP high performance discrete GPUs for early access developers, which are also now deployed at Argon Labs. So with all of this, we're super excited about the opportunities that one API can deliver for developers, the entire ecosystem, and really enabling us to get faster time to those insights to deliver a better value for you and your customers. And with that, I'll hand it back to you, Trish. Thank you, Jeff. With the power to perform over a quintillion or a billion billion calculations per second, exascale computing will make time to insight lightning fast. And Intel and the U.S. Department of Energy are committed to deliver the Aurora Exascale supercomputer at DOE's Argonne National Laboratory in 2022. This collaboration will focus on creating next-generation semiconductor technologies, manufacturing processes, advanced system design and software enablement, including future silicon development, future architectures for high-performance computing and AI, and software ecosystem enablement for exascale computing. Aurora will give scientists and researchers an unprecedented set of tools and applications that will enable breakthrough advancements in a wide variety of areas that will benefit all of us, including medicine, weather modeling, climate change, and material science. The future extends beyond exascale, and Intel is excited to be at the forefront of these projects and partnerships. Intel recently announced a three-year agreement with Sandia National Labs to explore the value of neuromorphic computing for scaled-up computational problems. 
Sandia will use Intel's 50 million neuron Lohihi based system and will lay the foundation for our largest neuromorphic research system, which could exceed more than 1 billion neurons in the computational capacity. Intel recently released a 100 million neuron system Pooiki Springs to the Intel neuromorphic research community to demonstrate how neuromorphic computing can provide up to four orders of magnitude better energy efficiency for constraint satisfaction. Intel and Sandia hope to advance research in scaled up neuromorphic computing to determine where these systems are most effective and how they can provide real world value. Beyond Aurora, Intel, Argonne National Labs, and the Department of Energy have entered into a long-term agreement to further support the United States leadership in advanced computing systems. Intel plans to provide QNEX research partners access to the entire quantum full stack system, from qubit devices to the hardware and the software required to control these devices to quantum algorithms that will harness the power of quantum technologies. It's an exciting time to be in tech and to be able to be a part of the amazing technological advances happening at Intel. I hope to see you in person next year. Stay safe and healthy.